What's up, everybody? It's Floppin' Grober, August 20th, 2024. And I just want to say, you know, if you've failed at your trades the last week or so, or if you're going through some tough things in your life that are affecting your trading, just know that you're not alone, that, uh, you know, your experience reflects 90% of whatever of what everyone else is going through. And trading is not easy. And um, hopefully on your journey, you know, the things that you get from my channel are helpful. And overall, I, I just want to help people. And uh, I hope that, that you guys find what I talk about useful. Because, um, I, I mean, you know, I'm not going to talk about fundamentals or news as good as a lot of other channels but I can sure as hell yap about price. So without further ado, let's get into this Bitcoin price action. And uh, you know, a lot of people were bullish as we're breaking up out of the Q3 anchor, the anchor place on the 1st of July. But as you guys know, like I was talking about how we've established a range with these VWAPs. The VWAPs do a great job of giving you a trading range. And so our trading range had a, a top here at that Q3 anchor and the low we were talking about it was the anchor place at this low down here that we recently had at the start of August. So this is our trading range that we've been talking about. It's like a 5% range. We go up to the top of the range. We look tired Four hour bearish divergence here. You see uh, the waves have come down whereas the price has come up. We slip back under the anchor and it's just a textbook VWAP market cipher short. Absolutely beautiful. Now we were able to hold on to a, a good short all the way down here. I took profit at the year to date, 75%, and then I closed it out down here as it was coming back up. But uh, I called out in the VIP that this was probably our daily bottom, this wick right here. Look, the wick comes in taps, the August anchor perfectly at support. If you're on a 20x long trade, man, oh man, it's insane profits there on uh, that long bounce there. That being said, now we're in a no trade zone again. So here we are in the middle of the range, guys. The year to date VWAP serving as the fulcrum still deep, deep into the month of August, still clinging to the year to date. Um, currently, tapping it as resistance, but uh, I really can't trust anything in this middle of the range. You guys know what they say about entering trades in the middle of ranges. I would say that uh, I'm gonna be waiting for a collapse down if we lose the August anchor. I'd love to catch an entry, not just to uh, this previous weekly anchor, this yellow anchor here, but possibly lower. You know, when you look at the retracement, that we've had so far from that bottom. We haven't even gotten a golden retracement yet. There's some some really nice juicy levels like 54.2 or 51.9 down here. That would be extremely beneficial for Bitcoin to come down and retest. Is the Q3 anchor a stiff enough resistance to get that? I think it is. I think the idea that Bitcoin's having a bearish quarter is enough of an idea to to, to make it so. So struggling around the year to date, struggling to get over the, the Q3 anchor here, red flags, these are red flags in the market, signs of weakness. You know, if we had broken up over that Q3 anchor, then showing some strength or a support bounce or something, we would have had that play up to the orange all time high anchor. This is a VWAP place at Bitcoin's all-time high back here but uh, for the time being guys I would say be careful entering trades at this point in time because you are in the middle of the ranges and a lot of these time frames could go either way even the daily has been getting jostled around pretty bad right now not going to lie usually the daily is a very trustworthy powerful time frame but this had a red dot yesterday and then we pumped. Now it's mega dumped. The second it looks bullish, we're mega dumping. 
so um it's hard to rely on these daily time frames we're we're truly being led by the nose on these scalp time frames and like the hourly and stuff that at least that's how it feels if you just feel it's like we're being led by the nose in this market but um you know truthfully if i didn't get stopped out of my long i told my vip put a stop loss under the august anchor and and let it ride I didn't do that. I had a tighter stop loss with more risk and I got stopped out like a flopping groper. But I would have taken profit on that long already. Looks like we just came up and just wanted to come up to this intraday VWAP range and, and come back down. See the waves tumbling down. Could be a dead cat bounce here on the August VWAP and we could go lower, but... Like I said, it's a choppy range, middle of the range. Uh, I would just advise you to proceed with caution uh, when, if you're thinking about frothing into a trade at this moment. But uh, that's pretty much it. I don't want to talk about next month's play yet. I do have this dotted line here at September 1st. As soon as we get an idea of which way Bitcoin wants to go along the blue August anchor, that's going to help us dictate how we trade September. But uh, even though we're already on August 20th, I still don't have enough data to suggest how this September anchor play is going to work. We've been super sideways around this monthly anchor, which uh, we're, we're used to, but not to this extent, I feel like. <clears throat> but uh, make sure you guys follow my Twitter at Flopping Groper for good posts there and uh, follow my Instagram at Nick Cypher. Drop a comment on the video, give me a like, and uh, if you like my TA, make sure you subscribe. But Tom, obviously if we, you know, if we can break below our weekly VWAP, then uh, we go down to that golden retracement possibly. And if we could somehow bounce off this August anchor, this is like a nice, I mean, you see like head and shoulders type action going on here so i don't think it's outside the realm of possibility for us to come back up and retest and try to get over the q3 anchor again that's why i'm so that's why it's such a choppy range you just it could go either way at this point but um either way like whichever way the price does decide to go whether it's up or down it's going to be an amazing opportunity and um for those of you who are trading with a USDT balance and and just building a cash position, this volatility just has you licking your lips. It's just, it's beautiful. Actually, it is beautiful. It's nice to have a range that's so predictable with a 5% swing here. You can come in here with 10, 20 X. And if you really know your stuff, you can, you can make some life changing gains. So that's, that's the name of the game, but, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later in the next update.